God bless you. So today I will speak on spiritual warfare, the spiritual battle. The battle that is waged above. You see, when you become a believer in Christ, you are a soldier in Christ. You have to fight the good fight to keep running the race. You don't turn away and give up. It is a battle for the devil is a prowling lion looking for whom he may devour. And when we seek to follow God in all the things we do, the devil rises up to fight against it. The devil does not want the word of God to be shared. He wants people to be lost for he is a deceiver. And the spiritual warfare that you will come across and go through, be of good cheer. For Jesus has all authority in heaven and earth. His name, a name above every other name, that every knee shall bow. You must be prepared and put upon your spiritual armor. Now, to explain in some manner things that we may go through. Recently, a video I put up seemed I could watch it perfectly fine on the platform. And some other people were able to watch said video fine on the platform. But there was a big selection of many that could not watch it on the platform. So it was put up again. So it could be seen. Now, it took quite a long time to get it back up a second time. Fortunately, I still had it on the device to do so. But of course it was most late by then and the battle was not yet over. That night took me much time to even get to sleep. But while trying to sleep, there was still more spiritual warfare ahead. In the home that I reside in, you could feel a presence. And then this orange mist in the darkness of the room so of course in the name of Jesus Christ rebuking all wickedness the next thing I hear is bang 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 on my front door now it's silly o'clock somewhere in the morning and it's quiet here I'm like why would anything be banging on my door at this time now, of course, I ain't going to turn my lights on to alert anyone that I'm up in the verdict if there is someone at my door. I knew something was off because first this and from this orange mist that I could see in my room. Praying over that and then this banging at the door. So I got to get up to go to the hallway. And at the base of the stairs, I could see like shadows moving, but not outside, within. And I was like, some sort of ill presence, ill feeling. So I was going down and praying. And around to look to see if there was anyone at that door without alerting anyone to my presence. I don't see anyone there. So going back up to go to sleep the night is not yet over much struggle to sleep and the dreams most wicked most wicked indeed in the dream I had had the parts I can name and remember uh, people I knew and people I know that I know that once believed in God and once believed in Jesus that then 
left that faith behind. I dreamt I was in a messy room with them, like a dark room. With mess everywhere and flies flying around. And they were all accusing me and persecuting me in some manner or another as I was trying to talk about God. And they kept saying, there's a demon in you, a demon in you, you're wicked, you're evil and all this. And I was trying to say Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. But then at the point when I tried to say Jesus' name, something tried to stop my mouth from being able to move and open to say the name of Jesus in the dream. Calling on Jesus' name for all authority. Now, by this point, I eventually wake up trying to slur the name Jesus, save me, as I wake up. And it is now the morning at some point. I've not had barely any sleep and I'm quite exhausted. And I was like, it has been quite an intense and busy evening. The spiritual warfare is not yet over. We must always be ready for spiritual warfare. Always putting on your spiritual armor. For you see, I already knew what I was intending to do the next day in the morning. Which was to go out and do ministry. Now of course I've got up, not rested, barely slept at all, been up through most of the night with all these goings-ons, and uh, now I could have said, oh, well, you know, I'm really tired, I should rest and not go out to do ministry, but I am quite stubborn, fortunately, and God know better than I, so I prayed for the strength to do as I had ought to do. That God would lead me, that I could do some good. Now, I won't speak on what happened from there on, but of course, God knew what I needed to do that day far better than I. Praise be the Lord, if He guides us all. And from there, I had done whatever it is that needed to be done, and of course, to go off to do my daily workings. And in the evening, last few hours and I'm only now starting to recover from the pain so I'd have uh, palpitations in my heart uh, quite a lot quite an intense pain and like a blockage feeling where the pain goes up and down the back of your shoulder and up down your whole left arm and that was going on for a few hours and I felt like I was going to pass out again and had a lot of pain in my old scar tissue again as well, which I've not had for a long time. And I was like, this day isn't over. So spending my time in prayer, enduring and persevering through the pain, because, to be honest, it is quite painful. I can't exaggerate. and makes you feel quite weak. And then knowing that I've also got to walk home. So... Getting out, rejoicing and praising God for giving me the strength to get through. And praying and seeking God's guidance and wisdom as I make my way. Now, this is but one day. All glory to God as we persevere, as we endure. But it's God that fights our battles. In our weakness, He is the one that gives us strength. And it's because he makes us strong that we can do all that we do do. For greater is he in me than the prince of this world. And all this spiritual battle, we need to know the Bible, you need to know your scriptures. You need to know how to fight spiritual warfare. You need to know to call on the name of Jesus Christ that has all authority. You need to put upon your spiritual armor. As in Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 to 20. Where it says, Finally my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, 
against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armour of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance, and supplication for all saints and for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I, <clears throat> that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Standing prepared, readying yourself, putting upon the spiritual armour, ready for all the wicked wiles of the enemy, that you can endure, that you can persevere, that you can overcome, for the word of God is your weapon. Knowing that Jesus has all authority. So let's go to Matthew chapter 28. And you'll see it right there. In verse 18 of chapter 28. One moment while I turn my pages. It may be slow, but I get there eventually. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. He has all authority. And then again you know every knee will bow to his name, for his name above every other name. Come to Philippians. So across the Philippians we go. And we shall be in chapter 2. And verses 9 to 11. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the, at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Praise be God every day. In Jesus' name give thanks. Trust in him. And when you find yourself in spiritual battle and spiritual warfare, call out in Jesus' name. He is there and he has all authority. So let's continue on. You see that every knee will bow in his name above every name. And now over to Colossians chapter 2. And in chapter 2 it shall be verses 9 to 11. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power, in whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. He has all power. 
He is the head of all principality and power. He has all authority. Every knee shall bow. The Holy Spirit that worketh in you. That leadeth you to all truth. For greater is he in me than the prince of this world. And that's why you will overcome. That's why you can persevere. And that's why you can endure. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be answered. So keep seeking. Keep asking. Keep knocking. Do not give up. Stand and persevere. Because all those different attacks the devil may come. To pull you away from God. In any manner he may. He may try to weaken you. He may even try and turn you from doing ministry. Or make you feel too weak to go out to minister. But no. Call on God to give you the strength to do as you ought. For we are made for good works. All glory to God. But we live as the light. Learn from Jesus because he is the way, the truth and the life. Now, the power of Christ is great. It is beyond all. He has the power to pull down all strongholds, to break all bonds, to snap the snare of the devil. So call on him daily and regularly. Come now to 2 Corinthians. In 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Oh, my chest hurts. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Chapter 10 from verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh... We do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing, high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Every stronghold that comes against you, if you're stuck in a repetitive sin, whatever it may be, Jesus is the head. You call on him. Every temptation, every struggle, every desire, every battle you may have, you call on Christ. Do not give in. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. And you will overcome. As the Holy Spirit worketh in you. Do not be ensnared to sin as the dog that goes back to its vomit. Or the pig to the mire. Don't cover yourself in the filth of sin. But be freed from it. For the chains of bondage were broken by the authority of Christ. For those risen again are dead to sin. Freed from it. To live in the spirit, not the flesh. Not to be conformed to sin. But to be renewed in mind and in spirit. As Christ worketh in us via the Holy Spirit. So be encouraged. Know your Bible, study it daily, pray daily, give thanks daily. Keep building that relationship with God. Put God first and not this world. Don't worry about all the things that are going on in this world. Trust in God to deliver you. Just like he did the Israelites when Pharaoh came. There is nothing greater than God. So stand steadfast. On your faith that is the cornerstone that is Christ. And you will be just fine. For though 
we have tribulation be of good cheer because Jesus overcame the world and you have the testimony of Christ in your life stand strong for now we shall come to Proverbs and in the book of Proverbs we shall go to chapter 24 and we shall look at verse 5 a wise man is strong yea a man of knowledge increase of strength so build your strength on the word of God build your knowledge for too many die for lack of knowledge so you will study you will learn you will seek and you will find for God will lead you to all truth so keep seeking because the sword of the spirit is the word of God so know it and it will break down every stronghold against you now from here we come to Psalms the greatness of God in our lives we will not fear we will not be shaken nor shudder for Psalms chapter 20 and in Psalm 20 verse 7 some trust in chariots and some in horses but we will remember the name of the Lord our God that's right there is nothing greater to trust in than in God and over to Psalm 28, verses 7 to 8. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth and with my song will I praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is the saving strength of his anointed. Save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever. He is with us. He is your shield. He is your buckler. He is your fortress. He is almighty God. Call on his name, just like in Psalm 91. For he is your refuge. Do not fear all that is to come. And from here, remember 1 Timothy chapter 6. So to Timothy we shall go. And in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Where unto thou art also called. And hast professed. A good profession before many witnesses. So. Fight the good fight. Keep running the race. Don't let. The wiles of the devil wear you out. Don't let him weaken you. Don't let him make you doubt. But stand steadfast in your faith in Christ. He is with you every step of the way. Be encouraged. Be strengthened. And endure. Be faithful unto the end. And you will inherit the crown of eternal life. There is a great time known as the great falling away. But you will not be part of it. For you will study your Bible. And you will know your Father in heaven. For God is there waiting with his hand outstretched. It is up to you to grab it. So grab it. Pray, confess all and repent. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of sins receive the gift of the Holy Spirit God bless every one of you this day